Hey everybody, Trapper Matt here. Uh, I've seen some recent discussion about muskrat populations and I'm going to shoot a little video here and just show you one of the biggest things that affects our muskrat populations here in farm country of Midwestern Ontario. You look up this municipal drain There's not a stitch of food left here. This was cleaned out about three weeks ago. Normal practice to be cleaning drains here. More and more each year. Way more than when I was younger. The uh, way farming has went, the farmers want to see the water off the land faster. And they don't want uh, silt build up in these drains. So when one of these is cleaned out, everything off the bottom is taken and dumped on the bank, as you can see including all the feed that the muskrats rely on. So, there's one of two things that affect our muskrat populations here, and that's how much water we have in these drains over the summer, and whether or not they have feed to survive on for the winter. So, this drain here, it was cleaned out for, I don't know, I'd say about four miles. Every muskrat that lived here either had to migrate out of here or starve to death or get killed by predators. So if we want to talk about where our muskrat populations are, we need to start going right back to the habitat. That's what builds our muskrat populations, good habitat, nothing else. So if the MNRF and Trent University guys that are wanting to study this, want to talk to trappers and find out what exactly is going on with muskrat populations, they should hit us up and we'll show them.